I know we have some great videos coming up. Uh, my name is Ben Diamond. I'm from the University of Minnesota uh, in Duluth, Minnesota, which is very far north with several feet of snow in my front yard still. <laughs> Nothing like 80 degrees here, so I'm excited to be here. Uh, our program actually it's, it's kind of ended. We started in 2018 and um, the four years is up and now I'm, I'm thinking about how to make sure it stays in place. Uh, it's a resilient precast in the engineering curriculum and I'll get into what that means. And in reality, it's unique in that uh, I'm a civil engineer, I do structural engineering. Uh, that's the top left, we have three of us in, in engineering. We talk about resiliency and sustainability with our mechanical engineering partner. Uh, and then the really fun part that I've loved is incorporating business aspects into our uh, program. And since Ray just left, I'll shout out that we, we've had discussions with him and, and folks in the industry about the business, and that's really been awesome. Uh, our partner is Moline Concrete, who I didn't see here this year. Uh, specifically, Paul Courageon does a lot of work with us, and I was happy to see he's the PCI Foundation Partner of the Year, if I got that right. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's been amazing working with Paul and, and Dan at Moline. This is our curriculum. Uh, being in an engineering program, we don't necessarily do a studio, but we've impart, imported a, uh, a curriculum. It starts with the top where students are introduced to concrete design in general. Historically, that was all cast in place, and throughout the four years, it's been very much uh, probably over 50% precast now. Uh, at roughly the same time, students take our business class, which I want to get into. I guess I'm going to do all this separately, but uh, 2018, we started. We did have some very amazing scholarships in the beginning, which really uh, upped our enrollment. Um, the one other thing we've done that's pretty unique is put this over the years into an official university transcript. So when <laughs> students complete this curriculum, they get a transcript uh, certificate. They also get a second certificate that looks like a diploma. Uh, it's not everyone who does our curriculum that gets that, but we've had over 50 students in the years get this kind of extra checkbox, which has been really great. So I'll go class by class quickly. Uh, in the introductory class, we have been very lucky to erect a precast structure in our building. So we have a building within a building. Uh, this is our touch look uh, structure for teaching. It's really cool in that when Moline uh, constructed it in our building, they finished half of it and it looks like a finished precast building and they left the other half open. So all the connections you can see, uh, the products you can see, the, connect the connectors. Uh, we've used this over the years with hands-on teaching. Our business aspect is really cool. And this is where Ray spoke. We bring in folks from the industry uh, and with COVID, Actually, it was a silver lining being able to do this on Zoom because we can bring in people from all over the country to Duluth, Minnesota, rather than the whole day of travel to get you there. Uh, the things that I asked the folks to talk about, which is very unique, and, and what Ray said is, while wow, you made me think about my own company and how my business works, is what is the mission of your, of your business? What is the strategies? What are your methods of keeping track of those? How do you uh, talk about leadership? And some folks from JBI have spoken about that as well. So, uh, for me, this is where I probably learn the most because I'm not a business person. Um, and I know that our students are, have been and are getting a leg up just being able to use the language that they've learned as they go work. Um, so we, we also pair this course, which is the CE one, with a class in our MBA program. So students actually have to uh, take another class. These two add up to three credits and our department has granted that to be a technical elective. So students are not necessarily wasting their time. It's a really great combination. We've done a, a bunch of plant tours and job site tours over the years uh, at various places. We've done the engineering precast parking garage tours. We've done the plant tours at Moline. Uh, we didn't get to go in person on plant tours during COVID. Uh, Moline being up in Minnesota is all indoors. They weren't comfortable with us coming there. Uh, so we originally started with Paul just coming to us and some PowerPoints and pictures and then uh, I, was, I don't have a picture of this, but what happened during COVID was that Moline uh, took a drone and went around their facility and recorded videos of the production. And we saw their videos on Zoom, which means that we got to see every part of production, which wouldn't happen during a field trip. And that was really interesting because we'd show up at 10 a.m. at a field trip and have already missed the casting that happened at 6 a.m. So it's, uh, that was a really unique silver lining and uh, students get to experience everything, multiple plants, multiple processes in one hour, which was really cool. Um, so that was the thing I talked about, Paul, really going beyond in terms of the uh, partner of the year. 
Uh, our curriculum ends in the senior year where we have a, a design capstone project, very much engineering. Uh, it's a structures-based project where folks uh, have historically done things from precast building, uh, hollow core floors and, and roofs to garages with double T's, etc. Uh, we have presentations and posters and have been blessed with folks to come um, grade that from Moline and also Wells Concrete we've worked with. I, I do want to back up actually uh, and talk one more thing here about this business management class because Marty is here and she's attended. Uh, this class ends with a project too and Marty was able to grade that over COVID on Zoom with us and it's a, a Shark Tank like project based on some of the stuff Marty's done where our students' goal through the semester is to come up with their own precast business and they pitch it to us as investors and I forgot to mention that. So we're very much in the project space, learning how to present and talk and write. Um, we also have a second engineering course that follows regular concrete, which is pre-stress concrete. We very much use the PCI design handbook here uh, as, the, as the textbook. We've entered the big beam competition. Uh, and I think moving forward, I've been thinking about this the past couple months and speaking here at the conference with folks is, uh, we currently don't have a PCI student group because there is so much student group competition. There's AS ASCE, there's ACI, there's everything, there's geotechnical. Uh, but I think that's something I want to establish going forward because we already do most of this. And if we can formalize that into one of these PCI student groups, I think that would be great. So that's a quick uh, overview of where we are and, and where we're heading. So I'm happy to answer any questions.